So, back on the dirt, we're at Lingfield now, and this is the marathon final in the uh, Starters Orders 6 All Weather Championships. It's a 0 to 100 handicap over two miles. Top one is Brave New World, Joshua Sutherland. Pat Gallium, Steve Rand, Starlight Matilda, Darren Thompson, Sydney Kearleon, Graham Clutterbuck, Exceedance Therapy, Graham Clutterbuck, Captivity Belfry, Thomas Rogers, Granite James, Shane Divine, Prospect Alex Cherry, and Angra Du Herissimo for Darren Thompson. So, nine of them meant to qualify for these finals throughout the season and away we go and be the first one to show a long way to go Sydney Kearney on just about the leader you can see quite a few trainers are doubly represented the ones that favour this particular event and Angara Du Heroissimo is in the lead for Darren Thompson who's also got another one in this Starlight Matilda who's chasing it on the rail and might well be moving into second place in a moment. They sort themselves out there through the first few furlongs and Angra Du Heroissimo has gone a good five lengths clear of Starlight Matilda in second, Divine Prospect for Alex Cherry is in third, then Granite is in fourth, Sydney Kearlion on the outside of Brave New World, then Exceedance Therapy the Grey and then the back to Captivity Balafray and Pack Callium but Angra Du Heroissimo is well clear at this point be as many as seven lengths a divine prospect sydney kearney and granite chasing in fact the rest of them are pretty closely grouped out and there's probably only three lengths four lengths between the whole lot of them but the leader passing that furlong marker there is well clear past the big screen then now and then past the winning post and swinging out left-handed for one more circuit of leafy lingfield and angra do heroissimo is clear in front from Divine Prospect second. Exceedance Therapy, the first of the two ground clutchable horses. The Grey is third. He's got his stable mate Sydney Kelly on his outside. And Starlight Matilda's got the rail trapped in between all them lot as uh, Brave New World. Then Granite and Captivity Balafre together. And Pat Callium is just about the whipper in at the back. But it's Angra Du Heroissimo who is in the lead and has been in the lead all the way so far. Sydney Kelly on there getting much closer in second. Divine Prospect still going well in third. Then Exceedance Therapy Starlight Matilda is going to try and caught the inside. Captivity Balafre is the one who's just dropping off the pace a little bit at the back but Angro Di Horissimo has now been joined by Divine Prospect and Divine Prospect has burst into the lead only by a neck he's got into the lead and then just eased up a little bit there's only five and a half furlongs to go and they're probably going to start racing properly now but Angro Di Horissimo has got the inside and got that rail and that's probably worth the best part of half a length at least Divine Prospect is second Sydney Kearney on his third and then exceeding therapy is fourth Pat Gallium he's going well in fifth but it's going to need some luck finding a run through from there then comes Granite and Starlight Matilda Brave New World's just lost his place a little bit and Captivity Balafre is still at the back but it's Angro Du Heroissimo still in the lead but now look at this Pat Callium he's just run straight into a brick wall there Jockey's got nowhere to go and bursting around the outside Starlight Matilda takes it up Starlight Matilda takes it up and now Pat Callium has got a, has got out from the fence and he's in hot pursuit they've got just over two furlongs still to go and it's Starlight Matilda being chased by Pat Callium then comes the on prospect Angra Du Horissimo looks beaten on the inside now but it's stable mate Starlight Matilda who's making the best of her way home Starlight Matilda comes down towards the final foil and with a lead of two lengths Pat Callion is chasing in second it's surely between these two Exceedance Therapy and Brave New World to try to stand but they're not going to get close to these leaders it's Starlight Matilda Starlight Matilda in front Pat Callion one last lunge as they come towards the line Starlight Matilda needs a line Pat Callion comes close that is mighty close two miles on the dirt and they're inseparable on the line. That is mighty close. Pat Callion was getting closer with every stride. One more stride and Pat Callion would have won. That replay doesn't look exactly the same to me as the race in real time because it looked much closer than that. Uh, Starlight Matilda on, on that replay there has won it quite easily. Well, I thought it was closer than that. It's a head win for Starlight Matilda apparently for Darren Thompson. Pat Callion for Steve Rand definitely looked closer in the first run through. Exceedance Therapy for Graham Clutterbuck was third. Brave New World for Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Divine Prospect for Alex Cherry was fifth.